So, you've paid attention to every financial discipline, kept to a strict budget, said no to impulsive spending, and successfully saved your money. The next step is to figure out what to do with it. There are so many things you can spend money on, but the best way is to make an investment. This way, you get more out of your money. Number 10. Travel The thing people missed most during the pandemic and the global lockdown was travel. Travel around their country or out of the country. Gaining new experiences is one of the best investments you can make. There is so much to life beyond the four walls of your home. You could also monetize your experiences through vlogs, blogs, or photography. For as long as your platform is active, you will be able to have some money coming in periodically. You may not exactly make the most money, but you'll gain a new perspective and make some awesome memories that no one can take from you. Travel also doesn't need to empty your savings account. You can have fun with a budget. Look out for travel deals and other accommodation options. You work hard for your money, so it is important that you invest in yourself. If travel is not your cup of tea, invest in things you actually want. One of the biggest regrets people have as they grow older and closer to death is that they never made time for the things they wanted to do. If you've got the money and time, spend on yourself a little. Have a bucket list of things you want to kick off so that you are consciously following along. Number 9. Philanthropy and Generosity There is another form of investment where you may not get monetary returns, but a great way to spend money and a rich investment in your heart and for humanity. Philanthropic endeavors will allow you to invest in someone who would probably never ever have had the chance to go beyond their poor circumstances. There are so many reasons why people find themselves in hard times, and giving a helping hand is not only noble, but deeply rewarding. Most rich people are part of causes they believe in because they want to help bring about change, and know that the joy of money is in giving. There are different organizations that offer a plan and require a certain amount of money to help someone else. Giving also helps you invest in your relationships. You don't need to be stingy when you see your sibling in great need. When all is said and done, the people you have in your life are what really matter. Money won't show up for your funeral, nor will it talk fondly about you in other circles. And people are most likely to return the favors, over and above what you would have imagined. People rarely forget a good turn in their tough times. Number 8. Businesses As Warren Buffett has advised, never invest in a business you don't understand. But there are so many other options that will help grow your money. You could go into business for yourself, or invest in something your friend is starting up. Most people want to invest in something already established, and while there is wisdom in that, you also can't judge what something will be in the long run. It helps if you invest in a company that is less labor-intensive. That way, you won't be terribly affected by inflation. Think of businesses that cater to basic needs like food, farms and restaurants, and clothes. The oil and gas industry also does well. The demand remains mostly the same because people can't go without them. If you have also thought of going into business for yourself, your savings are a great source of initial capital. Open your bakery or photo studio. Once your business gets on its feet, you will see plenty of money coming in. If there is a business you were thinking of but don't quite understand, there is no harm in doing some research on it. Number 7. Stocks, Bonds, and Crypto Stocks, bonds, and crypto are common terms thrown around by people in the financial industry, but not everyone understands them. Stocks are what you get to gain equity in a company. You don't need to manage anything and will still get your returns in forms of dividends when the company decides to pay out. Stocks are also very volatile. What seems like a good investment today will have you pulling your hair out in a few weeks. Stock prices fall and rise all the time. Your investment in stocks should be a long-term endeavor. Think of bonds as a loan you can give to the government or a company. That's right, despite their big boy pants, they need you. Bonds are more secure but also ensure a low return rate. Cryptocurrency is mostly cryptic, and you need to do all the research you can before you jump onto it. It fluctuates a lot as well, and sometimes gets hacked. However, it might be the currency of the future, so it's worth looking into. Find a trustworthy financial advisor and make the best decision for yourself. Number 6. Retirement Savings Most companies know they won't have you forever and try to honor your time with them by offering to match your retirement savings. Much as the company wants to play their part, your retirement is your business. Retirement might look far off when you are just starting out, but the years fly by and before you know it, you are looking for your teeth to ask about where the time went. Think of your retirement while you still have your time and teeth. 
If you want to travel, start planning now. If you intend to run your own business, save for it now. If you don't want to have your children or youthful relatives make decisions on how you should live, look at your retirement savings. Save for health care as well. Research shows that retired people could spend well over $220,000 on health care. You'll be grateful you had this foresight when you were old and gray. Number five, education. There is no end to learning. Going through those first years of school feels like a chore. You can't watch your favorite late night show and it feels like they wake you up as soon as you fall asleep. After such experiences, it is hard to believe that education could ever be a voluntary investment, but school is great once you know what it offers. With online studying, you don't have to confine yourself to a lecture room. Study at your own pace and study the things you want. Pick up a new skill as well. It could be cooking, carpentry, music, or digital marketing. It is unreasonable to lock yourself into one thing when so many options exist. You can use your education to shift into a career you didn't know about earlier. You also have good grounds to ask for a raise or promotion since employers love that show of self-drive. You could also teach your new skill and get some money on the side, guitar lessons, or writing a masterclass. Never underestimate the power of a well-fed mind. There is a reason the saying goes, knowledge is power. Number four, high yield saving accounts and other bank accounts. Sometimes banking is the best investment option for your money. It has very few risks, but it also has very little returns, about 1%. The best thing about saving accounts is that they are easy. All you need to do is deposit your money. If you don't trust yourself to have the financial discipline to put money away, automate your savings so that they are deducted as soon as they come in. Having an account also requires that you look into your bank charges. Find out how much they charge per transaction and if they have got an ATM close to you. Take a look at your statements as well to make sure you are with the best bank that you can find. High yield saving accounts are also very liquid. If you need your money, all you need to do is go to an ATM or the bank. You don't have to wait long and that will help if you have got an urgent thing that needs funding. Other bank products you could look into include money market accounts and certificates of deposits. Money market accounts offer a higher interest rate, but also require a higher minimum amount. Certificates of deposits are time bound and let the bank pay interest on them as well. Number three, rental properties. Rental properties are one sure way to make money while you sleep. You will always be sure of money coming in at the end or start of the month. Of course, you will have to put in some work with maintenance and management. No one will pay top dollar for a leaking roof and poor wiring. You don't want to be the kind of landlord no one wants to relate with. If you don't trust yourself with the management of the properties, look into real estate investment trusts or REITs. They will do all the heavy work for you and you will still get your money at the end of it all. You can list your rental properties online. Think Airbnb, Booking or TripAdvisor as well to ensure that there is a steady stream of money coming in. Number two, your home. We attach so much value to our homes and rightfully so. It is the one place we can go and still belong despite our faults. It is also one of the best investments you will make with your money because it will ensure that you have a place to get to when life gets rough. If you lose your job, if you fail your class, or if your crush downright ignores you, because they are big investments, buying a house can be costly. People usually take out mortgages to help pay off the house. Check out the market before you commit yourself and wait for a favorable season. Try to pay off your mortgage as soon as you can. Aside from providing a safe haven, you can also benefit from your home. You could rent out a room or list it on sites like Airbnb. Make the renovations you desire to your space. Update your kitchen and your bathroom. Money is meant to make life more convenient. Renovating your house will also raise the resale value and you will walk away with a profit when you ever decide to sell. Before we get into number one, make sure to check out the links in the description for our best recommendations to boost your savings. Number one, your health. You are your most precious asset, so you certainly need to take care of yourself. There is no need to wait until you are on your deathbed to make changes in how you take care of your health. Use your money to get better before they shuffle you out the door. You can look into health insurance if you don't have a package already. This way, a trip to the doctor when you need won't scare you. Aside from that, you can also take up a gym membership and stick to it. You could pay for a health club so that you have plenty of options to keep you fit. You could also opt to have a self-care day and go to the spa or get a massage. Use the money you've got to buy better quality items, like a firmer mattress for your back, the right bicycle for your height, 
glasses if you need them, and shoes that will not tax your spine. These items usually come at a higher price, but are worth it in the long run. Change your eating habits now that you have got some more money. You've got no excuse to keep eating cheap junk. Seek out a therapist or a dietitian if you need. You make the money and you deserve to take care of yourself first.